I hear you asking, hey Aubrey, I've been thinking about starting a yoga journey this year, but there are so many different yoga options, I have no idea where to start. What style of yoga is best for me? Good question. <laughs> First of all, it's completely understandable as to why you're confused because there are so many different styles of yoga. Yoga was cultivated in India thousands of years ago. Really, they're not even for sure how long ago it was cultivated because it was so freaking long ago. One of the oldest yogis documented is Patanjali, which the Yoga Sutras are one of the ancient texts that the yoga practice is based upon. Things evolve. The original form of yoga is something called Hatha Yoga. And the idea of Hatha Yoga, it's, it, you may hear it think it's spelled Hatha, it's H-A-T-H-A, -H -H but in Sanskrit, the ancient language of yoga, that T is pronounced Hatha. Um, and from Hatha Yoga, there's been so many different evolutions. But really, the main point behind Hatha Yoga is finding the balance between the right and the left hemispheres of your brain so you can meditate, so you can find ease within your body. You're gonna see the basic postures like the sun salutations and warriors. Generally speaking, um, there's gonna be a lot of holds in Hatha Yoga, but there can be some fluidity and some flow in there as well. But the main aspect in it is that Hatha Yoga prepares you for meditation. In the grand scheme of things, really, all forms of yoga really um, lead you to meditation, but some put more of an emphasis there. The thing that's really great about vinyasa is, although it seems like it's an advanced practice because sometimes it moves fast, it's more of a beginner practice because what happens is when you're constantly moving and you're flowing with your breath, what you do is you eliminate time and space for thinking. Um, because as you combine that, you find a symbiotic flow within your mind and within your body where you alleviate space for thoughts. So if you have a really busy, busy monkey mind and maybe a little bit more ADD, then yasa might be the place for you. Another form is called Ashtanga. Ashtanga yoga is way more athletic than some of the other forms. You're gonna see more hops. You're gonna see more um, what I like to call party tricks. Um, but Ashtanga, because it is more physically intensive, it all depends on where you are within your body and your journey of whether or not Ashtanga is right for you. Also, Kundalini Yoga is a form of yoga that's mainly geared to specifically wake up the Kundalini. Now let me just pause and tell you that all forms of yoga will wake up your Kundalini eventually. That's all what they're based on. It do. all depends on your mental emotional state of whether Kundalini is gonna be a good practice for you. Kundalini makes me feel high in not a good way. So everybody's body is different, okay? Um, but in Kundalini Yoga, you're gonna see more mantras, you're gonna see a little bit more chanting, and you're gonna do a, see a lot more uh, breath of firework. So, <laughs> activating stuff just to get stuff moving, okay? Uh, that's also where you see people playing the gong and so on is in Kundalini yoga classes. Yin yoga. Yin yoga is a really popular form of yoga that's just about getting into your joints and fine tissues. You're literally going to just be holding poses for up to two minutes at a time. It is not physically intensive, but it can be mentally challenging because if you have a really busy monkey mind, being still and being quiet and holding stretches for a long period of time might cause some stuff to rise. But if you have any sort of joint discomfort and pain or really need to increase your flexibility, that might be the place for you to start. Bikram yoga is the hot form of yoga, the one where you're gonna go and sweat a lot. Sometimes it feels really great to sweat, but depends on your body's constitution. That might not be the best form for you to try them all on. See what one feels the best to you. And when you 
feel a sense like, ah, oh, this is just what I needed. Then you know you're in the right place. If you would like a starting point, if you want something to help get you started, check out the video notes and I'm gonna share with you a link to where you can get started on my website with a beginner yoga practice. Namaste.